Hello and welcome to the Winter Project. Um, today we're gonna do the thing that I do every month. Um, I should change my calendar thinking about it. So we're just gonna go through the list of songs real quick. Song number one, I Want You Like a Seatbelt by the Chadwick Sturks. Oh, this is the first song that I added. Um, it was one of my favorite songs from uh, another playlist called On the Road by Jeremy Loops, um, which is basically, basically a road trip playlist, which I thought was really cool. And I like the song from that. It's a bit acoustic. It's a bit, I think it's, a, I think it's an indie folk song, to be honest. I really like it. It's nice and chill. That playlist also has some really awesome songs on it. So if you want to check that out, go to Jeremy Loops' page and it's down the bottom of the playlist. So, number two is Bloom by The Paper Cats. <laughs> I really love the Paper Kites. Um, they're a Melbourne based band, so they're local, although I did find out about them through uh, a Hannah Hart tweet. So I found out about a band that lives like a hundred kilometers away from someone who lives on literally the other side of the world, because that's how our strange internet world works now, apparently. This is like, I think their best song. This is their best song. It's so good. It's got like two guitars, two fingerstyle guitars, and it starts off with that, and then it builds with like this, it, it adds like drums and other bits, and the vocals are so good. It's just a really nice, calming song. The whole um, EP is really great, actually. I think Woodland is the Paper Cat's best release, although I really love 12-4 as well. So, track number three is Instead by Emma Blackery. I like the uh, acoustic demo of this, mostly because it features Emma falling off a chair. Uh, but also it's a really nice song, really nice chords. I like chords, chords cool. And I'm still digging the, the YouTuber music releases with like Emma and Dodie and I can literally think of no one else. Troy, I guess, but he hasn't put anything out since 2015, so you know. Track number four, four, apparently I can't count, is Notion by Tash Sultana. Tash Sultana, as I've previously stated, is, is the bay. She's also Melbourne based. Um, she's, she, she's a loop artist and she is an epic guitarist and she's touring Australia in December and I really want to go. This is one of her songs of repeat um, and I really like it. It's very like flowy and it, it starts with like How does it start? I like the slides. The slides are really cool. I really like how her music like layers and it gets like, it just like layers upwards because one more thing is put in every time and that just becomes this big like band sounding thing. It's really awesome. Track number five is Bella Clava by the Arctic Monkeys. Running off over I think I'm basically just going to put an Arctic Monkeys in every single one of these uh, because I really like their music. <laughs> one of my internet friends has a the best of AM playlist that features the best of AM, AM being the Arctic Monkeys, not just the album. I've been listening to that a lot because that has some really good stuff in it. I also like the stuff that's not in the best of AM because it is all good. Every Night I Dream of Dancing by Andrew Huang. Andrew Huang is a YouTuber who also makes music. I totally forgot about Andrew, but he's sort of in a league of his own, to be honest. This is one of the songs off of his 80s style album, uh, which is really cool. I really like this song. But I super, super really like this music video. It's really cool. Uh, if I remember, I'll leave a link in the description. If I don't, then look up Every Night I Dream of Dancing by Andrew Huang and there'll be the, the music video. And it's so cool. It's so cool. Okay, my camera just died and I have like, not a load of battery with which to work with. So we're gonna go through the rest of these quite fast. Number six is Hook, Line, and Sinker by Royal Blood. <laughs> Royal Blood's really great. Um, this is a track that's sort of driven by rhythm, which I guess is kind of obvious because Royal Blood is basically just a rhythm section. Uh, but I like the. It's just got a really cool sort of feeling, if that makes any sense. Yeah, heavier, sort of rockier stuff, a bit like Arctic Monkeys, a bit like. Arctic Monkeys. I don't have a lot of bands with which to compare other bands. Uh, so work on that. So number seven is The English Summer by The Wombats. I thought I just threw a pop song in there to surprise you all. This is a good Wombat song. I like it. It's a bit poppy. It's a, I guess, is it pop though? I think it might be alternative. It's also got a really nice sort of flowy rhythmy thing. Uh, I'm doing a really good job at explaining this one. <laughs> I like how the chorus is a little bit wildly different from the verse. It's not totally wildly different, but it's got a different sort of feel, which is really cool. 
Um, so well done the wombats, great song. Song number eight, nope. Song number nine, it's maths man. It's my strong point, honestly. Parts of mess, but got I go T how do we Got ye. Got T yeah. Got yeah. Got ye. Thank you, pronunciation book. Hearts and Mess by Gautier. I, s I still don't think that's how you pronounce it, but anyway, we can just be vague and be like, the band, is it a solo artist? I don't even know. I think they're Australian, whoever they are. This is a this is a nice minor song. I like the high sort of melody, like, do, 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 do. That bit's cool. And also just the rhythms are like, do, 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 do. It's a bit unconventional, and I really like it because of the unconventionalness. And finally, Another Love by Tom O'Dell. This song's really powerful, I think, but it's also kind of quiet, and then it's like, explodes, and then it goes quieter again. So basically what I'm saying is the dynamics are great. This is another song that I really like the chord progression of, which is a bit of a guitarist thing, I think. I think this is also quite a popular song. Um, it's, it's cool. It's very cool. I'm, I, I clearly am quite tired and don't know how to describe things. ATM. So let's wrap this up. Those were the 10 most July songs of 2017. Uh, if you have any song recommendations that you would like to recommend to me, then you can do that. If you want to check out any of these playlists that I'm making, I keep forgetting to mention this in these videos, but my Spotify name is Good Source of Potassium. Uh, I made it when I was 12 and I was a little bit obsessed with Doctor Who, can you tell? So yeah, Good Source of Potassium, all one word. Uh, and there are some random other playlists there too. So if you want to just stalk me on Spotify, then you can do that. Like, I'm not going to stop you. So thank you for watching, and I will see you tomorrow. It's a little bit helpful.